Hey folks, Dr. Groovy here, Scott Grove from GroovyMusicLessons.com. Uh, today, to show you something kind of odd, it is how to accompany um, somebody that's just playing an acoustic guitar and you want to play something that will complement it, but not play the exact same chords um, and the same inversions that they are if they're playing along in C. And you want to play along in C. Um, it does not sound good when you have two people just jam along in the same chords and stuff. You would never do that in a band. I would hope not. Um, I have shown how to get chords in different places. So if you're doing C, F, and G. You do it here. Okay, so it's just a, way, a way to play the same chord a different way. Okay, so when you stick them all together, they stack nicer sounding than everybody doing it in uh, the exact same uh, variation. So this one here is simply a way to do it lower instead of higher because we had, and then we had a guitar player going, So instead of that all bright and happy, we can take that thing and make it low and dirty and actually just dark. Okay? Dark is a better word for it. And doing that, we're going to use nothing but the E chord shape. Okay? So let's get you to what I'm talking about. Um, go ahead and just grab an E chord with me. Okay? What I want you to do is move it forward one fret. That's a chord. Um, you don't know it yet. Maybe some of you do. Now that we've got it forward one fret, let's take it up one string. Okay, yeah, so that we're covering the E, A, and D strings. And play only the strings that are fretted. Okay, that is a C chord. Okay, so somebody's okay. So you have this uh, your uh, fifth here on the top where it should be. You know, like that. And then you have your third and the second fret on the D string. Okay, so with that, um, you've got your low uh, sounding stuff that you could play along with somebody who's playing normal, brighter chords, um, but you don't have to get over tinkly. Everything doesn't have to sound like it has a ukulele in there, or a mandolin, or a banjo, or whatever you're thinking of at the moment. Um, so, this is to show you that this E chord can be used everywhere. Um, is it a revolutionary thing? No. It's just something else to put in your little toolbox up there to use because it works. Okay? So, if you were playing here in C and you know it, uh, it's your ring finger that determines everything. So, the A string uh, currently. If it's a C chord and you know it, clap your hands. In my brain okay it's lonely up there <laughs> um, so with our C chord of course everything will jump in place for most people you have a C you drop down to F just by dropping the whole thing down back up to the one chord the C to the what five chord take your F chord up two frets to the one, to the four, to the one, to the five, back to one.
okay? And that's all there is to this. So I'll show you the minors in just a second. Um, we take all of the stuff that we normally play with an E chord and add it in. You know, like say we're... Okay, just bringing the two fingers down. Or just add your pinky to the D string. And since we have it in this position currently, and it's not somewhere else, um, we know we can add a pinky over here on the high G, or we can play the G string, or we can play a D note. When we switch up to the other chords, it's even easier to do. If you switch down to the F, okay, so drop the whole thing down. Um, you think about this stuff, it's like, okay, the F is right back here, but we can put the pinky at the third fret or the fifth fret. But by doing so, you're adding twinkle in there. And that's the other guy's thing. So I'm showing you that you can go ahead and still put your licks that you're used to doing with your E's, your E shape anyway. That's about as high as I would go with the licks that you know are. Okay, so don't forget to go up two frets on, um, <laughs> My bad. But anyway, you see what I mean? And don't forget, it is your middle uh, finger of the grouping, which is your root note. Okay, so don't keep thinking that it's the top one, which is your fifth. It's not. Okay, so that's like a bass walk up to get to that middle string of the group. So it takes a little bit of thinking um, at first. Uh, as you can tell, I haven't done enough thinking, but the idea is here. <laughs> okay, so take that puppy and move it up. Um, so we are up in G because we took the F and went up two frets. And all the same stuff applies, of course. Okay. Um, so... Again, all your typical stuff applies. Let's take this and make a minor chord out of it. Okay, let's just go from the five chord, do a six minor. Okay, so we're gonna take the G up to an A minor, which is just take G, take it up two frets. Wait, it has to be minor. Lower your third, your first finger. Okay, so we're cool. We have our one chord. Or four. Or five. Or six minor. Yeah, they're dark, and that's what I'm personally meaning for them to be. It just adds depth and girth uh, to what you're playing. 
okay, or what somebody else is playing. So it's a supporting thing more than anything. If you're recording, um, it can be used to just fill up some space if I can find my pick. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, you can add a track like that that really supports um, your typical. And it will make it huge. So that's all I'm trying to get at. So um, I'll get out of here with basically that information. Um, again, whatever your ring finger is on out of an E chord, that's you know the chord you're playing, the key you're in. So all your flats and blah, 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 who cares? Because like, say we go here, we're in E flat. We know just to go down for our four. And our five. Six minor, five, four, one. So we just played all over the place in uh, E flat. Um, because of the Nashville number system, you know, just knowing your one, four, five, and minor thing, and just how to play an E chord. And again, simply use okay, even that. You can still do that on all of these. So for here, okay, and right now we're in D, okay, because that tells us we are. Um, use that little note in there as well. Don't forget you have the fifth above, and you can go ahead and throw a pinky on that one as well. So I hope that uh, gets your mind to at least thinking about stuff. And again, just to add some texture to um, another rhythm guitar that you don't want to be all uh, hyped up and twinkly and sound like this. It has its place. Um, Doing some bluegrass, that sounds kind of groovy. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for your doom stuff and where you need the low stuff, try this. It's just all I'm asking is um, if it interests you, give it a whirl. All right. You guys stay groovy. I always am. And I'll catch you at some other point later on. Bye-bye.